One of Oklahoma's greatest athletes of the 20th century, if I can get it out of my mouth, sorry about that, just minutes away from Tulsa. Jim Thorpe won two Olympic gold medals, played multiple professional sports, and faced many challenges during his lifetime. Sadly, he may be on the verge of being forgotten, even in his hometown. Family's Maureen Wartz takes us there in tonight's road trip. It looks like every other house on the block. But right past the rusted Boston Street sign in Yale, Oklahoma, there's a home that's part of sports history. Well, it makes you feel close to them. Close to the things that they did, and I don't know, it just kind of gives you an eerie feeling to walk back in time. Donations and passion are and how Linda Cleveland Frick funds the Jim Thorpe home. One, Thorpe was born in Prague, Oklahoma in May 1887 and lived here in Yale from 1917 to 1923. He was Sack and Fox, Potawatomi, Kickapoo, and Irish. And he chose Sack and Fox. Sports were second nature to Jim throughout his life. He lettered in 11 different sports in college before heading to the 1912 Olympics in Sweden. The bias against Native Americans, obvious when his running shoes were stolen. He had to go in the trash can and he got two pair of shoes that did not match. One was too long and he had to stuff tissue in it to be able to wear it. Jim won two gold medals that year the pentathlon and the decathlon. It was after winning Olympic gold that Jim and his wife Iva settled here in Yale. Every cut and every stitch on it was done by nuns. All the hats and purses you see in the room are Iva's, as well as the silk shawl. All throughout the house, there are pieces of the Thorpe's lives during those five years. How tall was Jim, do you know? He was 6'2". So six two with that little table. With that little bitty table. <laughs> Jim would go on to play three professional sports throughout his life. Football, basketball, and baseball. But the biggest opponent he couldn't beat, racism. If a white man had done the things that Jim did, they would have been banners waving everywhere. Most people in Yale at that time didn't even know that James Thorpe was Jim Thorpe. Today, Linda says the home just gets a small amount of donations each year, and it's getting harder and harder to keep it running. I don't know why I care so much. I just do. <laughs> for a man and a legacy that many wrote off while he was still alive. But now he holds several titles, two-time Olympic gold medalist and the world's greatest athlete of the 20th century. That's our road trip. I'm Maureen Wirtz with Tulsa's Channel 8. Now Yale is on the way to Stillwater from Tulsa. It's only about 45 miles straight west on Highway 51. We'll go past Lake Keystone and Manford, then you'll hit Yale.